All right, now it's time oh. to get into Shotgun Saturday. Shotgun Saturday. Shot, shot, yeah, yeah. <laughs> January 18th, 1997. Uh, Shotgun Saturday, night, episode three. Uh, we've reviewed a ton of shit around this time, so I don't really have any observer notes here. Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> There's fucking nothing this week. Yeah, I'll tell you right now, too. This Shotgun Saturday Night thing could work if they, you know, and talking like nowadays, like it sure. could work nowadays. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, with a little different booking, you know, um, just a little yes. different. Just a little better. <laughs> just a little different. <laughs> yeah, like having a, a having a gritty alternative hour show that airs like you know where what the fuck ever like is fun. I like the idea put, of like the, the smaller show with like the party atmosphere. They because they were live in Texas yeah. here and they were like all like kind of party and line dance and stuff like that against the yeah, ring. I thought that was really cool, but uh, yeah, they definitely have to <laughs> change the booking a little bit if they wanted to do it now. But yeah, yeah, like. But it is, it really is. James said it's a cool concept. I don't know where, like, I mean, even here, the fans are fans. The fans are fucking rowdy as shit. I don't know where it, like, falls off, falls off, uh, where they just give up on it. I guess that's, you know, a typical thing. They start a new show, they put all the stars on there, and then, you know, all you oh, get is And then uh, they don't. <laughs> yeah. I wonder yeah. if they, did they <laughs> stop making it for, like, the local market and stop touring, like, the small towns and probably just did it with their regular shows? Probably. I'm not sure. Yeah, it probably turned into I'm heat. just guessing. Yeah. I'm not sure. You know, don't quote me on that. But I'm assuming yeah. that they just kind of made it. I'm quoting you <laughs> like on that. Like they do with everything. They're like, oh, it's just part of, you know, we could tape it with Raw and save money and it'll be fine. So what's the deal? Is this the night before the Royal Rumble? It is. All this right. Is, so I guess uh, technically the go it home is live to the too, right. This is right, live. Yeah. Is it? I, I don't know. <laughs> I can't. I tell. would assume so because the Royal Rumble was in San they Antonio. So, but... so I'm assuming it would be. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Sure. So yeah. Yeah. Well, we are in a bar with a cactus. <laughs> cacti. It's a cacti. Uh, they do the shotgun intro. Whoa, Shawn Michaels is shaking his ass on a taxi and Undertaker's coming out of a sewer because he stinks. <laughs> hey, none of those guys on this show, I'll tell you that. <laughs> well, there's a, couple, there's a couple stars on this. I don't know if there's stars just yet, but they got a couple of guys on it, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we got a cold open here that goes over some of the uh, matches that we're going to see tonight, including... Tonight, yes, live from San Antonio, Texas, the site of the 1997 Raw Rumble. We're in Denim and Diamonds is the place. I thought it was... Denim and Diamonds? Cool. You think that's still open? Uh, it is not. I looked it up just because I was curious. Fuck! But John Taffer, shut it down. <laughs> Get that shit out of here. I was like, we, we should, should run, run there, but yeah. we can't because it's not a thing. Dude, I it's said the same thing. thing yeah. It was a cool um, venue, though. I liked it. So, tonight's lineup... Gold Dust versus Stone Gold. What? Now, if you are a listener to this podcast and you remember the last episode of this, we were promised <laughs> to see the unveiling of Gold Dust being pregnant on okay. this episode. See, that's what I. Uh, <laughs> what happened here? Where was Gold Dust? They talk about it. They talk about later. They talk about later. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, okay. But Gold Dust, pregnant Gold Dust, uh, supposedly is facing Stone Cold. What? Not what, but what? Uh, we have Double J Jesse James taking on Farouk. I thought I thought I heard that wrong. <laughs> Double J Jesse James. I was like, yeah, okay. not Jeff Jarrett. Yeah, Jesse James and Hunter Hearst Helmsley against The Rock. <laughs> Rocky Maya. No, they got time. They got they got time tonight. We just saw that. We Dude. just watched that match. I said, God fucking damn it. I said, no fucking way. This is a month before the match we just watched. They got some time tonight. The uh, They flashed the shotgun uh, Saturday Night logo, which on the logo says live from New York City. <laughs> oh, uh, does it on the logo? Yeah, yeah, on the logo. Yeah, yeah, on the little like uh, badge. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All that and more on Shotgun yeah. Saturday Night. Welcome, everyone. Vince McGuire here with Girl JR and Gentleman Diamond San Antonio. Ah, oh, look at Sonny. Look at Sonny. Hey, look at Sonny. He's doing a little yeah. line dancing. <laughs> oh, a line dancing. JR says, oh, you can't have shotgun without me in the state of Texas. The fuck does that well, mean? Well, that's, that's a cool hat you got on there, Jim. <laughs> yeah. JR in the club. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, get up and <laughs> shake that thing, JR. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go stick a cacti straight in my ass. Oh, that's I'm crazy! Gonna... But we're gonna get done. <laughs> I wish I had a shotgun for you, Vince. Oh. <laughs> we got. By the way, to get into this place, you go through like a hole in the wall. Yes, uh, which is pretty and cool. 
It is cool, but you also can't see a fucking thing. They show like classic uh, bar style, baby. Doc, yeah, Doc Hendricks and Sonny are line dancing, and you can't see anybody. <laughs> I love like you know, uh, dive bars are very common to have like a band perform or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, for whatever. I, I'm guessing people have probably ruined this over the years. That's probably why it doesn't happen so much anymore. <laughs> but you know, having a pro wrestling show in a dive bar makes sense to me. You sure, know, yeah, it, yeah, absolutely. It, it makes sense, whatever said, but I'm sure some people have fucked that up over the years and yeah, I, uh, I make it a little more difficult to convince venues to allow you to do pro wrestling in the dive bar. Oh my god, yeah, um, no kidding. Or at least with a ring, you probably do no ring shows in a dive bar, pretty all right. It'd be fine. But... I think we've pro I think people do do that, right? Is that what yeah, they use to do in right. dive bars? Yeah, well, uh, I was hold on, sorry, I was uh, not to interrupt you, but. I was looking up denim and diamonds. But you but did. Fuck you. They re <laughs> the place is still a thing, but it's not denim and diamonds anymore. It's called Thirsty Horse. So, so we can <laughs> Thirsty Horse? Sorry, sorry. Thirsty <laughs> Thirsty what? Horse Dance Hall and Saloon. Thirsty Horse? horse? Thirsty Horse. Like, here. Oh, like a oh. dog. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I hear thirsty you. horse. That's yeah. Th That's a lot of my life. So they still have the. It's, <laughs> they still have like the. Uh, <laughs> they still have the the dance hall and stuff. So we might be able to get a ring in there or put a ring in there. Dude, DPW at the thirsty whores. <laughs> they, thirsty whores. They got a dance hall and everything. They got it. They got a spot called Ricky Bobby's Sports Bar. Yes. Holy fuck, man. So they they do Holy have. Shit, if you don't watch Ricky DPW, Bobby. fuck you. Ricky Bobby <laughs> DPWTX.com Ricky Bobby's sports bar is at Thirsty Whores Dance Hall <laughs> <laughs> That's love my life so, Oh my yeah, god wow okay. right, That is still a place We can run there like, Alright that's, that's cool Where is this at? In San Antonio, San Antonio? Texas, Yeah yeah, come on. We got some Texas motherfuckers on our show. Yeah, hook come us on. Up. Hook, hook us up, up guys. Yeah, what come on. You know you know who you are, Texas crew. Um, you, I know you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> Thirsty horse. Yeah, yeah, tell them that. Horse. Listen to those whores. Yeah. <laughs> make, make sure you tell them that. We got that. <laughs> Every time we promote it, we're at the thirsty horse. Take yeah. it to the next one. We're at the thirsty horse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it's called. <laughs> and tell them we are not bugging this garbage you guys are going to see some crazy matches not this shit well don't worry James because up first we have well it's Hunter Hearst Hemsley versus Rocky Maivia <laughs> oh, dude I Tony said I can't wait for you to see what the first match is I said alright I'll let you know he said you tell me when you do It start. I hear Triple H's music I immediately go to Discord and I say no, no, no. <laughs> it was not what I wanted to see but the atmosphere, like James said, is very cool. Yeah, for it sure. It probably helped the match a lot, actually. It did help I it will all, say but that. It, it, <laughs> it was definitely this better is than a the better first match. match. Yes, this is a better match. It's absolutely, but well, not, because it had a break it and we didn't get to see all the heat and we That's got to, right. you know what I'm saying, shorter. Keep it that way. Jake Snake Roberts came. So, I mean, we got a couple of things here. <laughs> but, uh, so, yeah, Triple H comes in and he tells Todd Banton Gill that this is a tune-up match for, of course, his pay-per-view match tomorrow against Goldust. Um, once he beats Goldust, he will have sex with his wife. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> Trip, uh, Hunter is also like he—he's making his entrance through the crowd. There's no like entrance way. Every you just have to fight through people to get to the ring. All the while, Todd Pettengill is also in the sea of people, shoving a mic into his face, trying to get. An <laughs> That's what he does. He he's just, trying to get he on the apron. Bombards these people as they're coming to the ring. He loves to do that, and yeah, it well, works. Gonna, he does it. He's going to defend the title. He's going to fuck Marlena. Yeah. Well, it showed. Uh, Rocky Maivia versus Mark Mero for about three seconds. Well, that, remember that was when uh, Rocky like came out and made the save or something for for uh, yeah, it just like showed Sable. him punching like for three seconds. And they yeah, they were away. fighting. Yeah, 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 nothing real, no context. Yeah. All right, cool. And this is as I said, a month before Rocky wins the IC title from Hunter on the Raw that we reviewed. Well, of course, uh, we kick it off. Rocky Maivia. Oh, the only way Rocky Maivia could kick off the fucking match here. <laughs> yeah, well, bro's cooking nothing. <laughs> Harvard hung up. <laughs> <laughs> we got Rocky Maivia. He decides to break out. Oh, reliable. He hits the arm, arm drag. drag. I thought I'd never. Arm oh, drag. <laughs> Did he hit an arm drag? Dude, and you'll never believe. The Rest end. tall. What's the end of the shine? Arm <laughs> drag. 
And Hunter tries to counter an arm drag, but Rocky counters it With back. With an arm drag. And JR said, this atmosphere is like a, an Oklahoma-Texas game. Most of them got a long neck in their hand and having a heck of a time. And then uh, JR says that. I look over and the hamburger's in the fucking crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Anything can happen here on <laughs> shotgun. <laughs> Shut it up. Yeah. Yeah. Texas game for sure. <laughs> Hamburgly. Just yeah, like, I guess so. That's 100% like arm matches. drag. Oh, dude, God. arm drag then across. Dude, just fucking stop doing the arm drag, bro. Come on. You know what? Maybe this no. one. I mean, it was shorter at least. It, that's dude, why the I like match was Triple H got getting heat the whole time, wasn't it? The other one? That's yeah, true. No, yeah, well, well, what happens next is also why I liked it a lot. Well, here's Jake the Snake <laughs> Roberts <laughs> well, at in first, the middle just, of the match. <laughs> middle of the match before a commercial. You just see a snake fly into the ring. I said, what the fuck? I didn't even know what it was at first because I was watching on 240p. <laughs> yeah, Triple H said, Triple H like powdered immediately. So what the fuck is that? <laughs> Jake Roberts in formal wear with a snake gets in the ring. I was like, oh, okay, great. This match is over. That is fucking yeah, awesome. Yeah, WWF style would tell you that the match is now a no contest. I was excited. I was like, that's awesome. That's cool. And they go to commercial and uh, they come back. And Hunter's in a rest hold. I said, what? Yeah. They got back in? <laughs> no. And Jake no. the Snake is now on commentary for this. Oh, great. Yeah. Well, Arm Jay, yeah. drag. <laughs> <laughs> Chin lock. <laughs> Drop kick. <laughs> yeah. Jake says he wants to test Hunter in Maivia. He's facing 29 other men tomorrow, and all he cares about is winding up being the last one. And JR says, well, I know, uh, you know, we make boots out of snakes in Oklahoma. And Jake says, you want to make one right now? <laughs> no, no, it's all right. Vince no is like trying to softball him questions here. Like he's like literally not even asking him anything. Jake, uh, tomorrow the Rumble, will we see a DDT? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm going to bring my snake. Yeah, Vince says, we heard your snake's going to be in tomorrow. Uh, the snake you're going to bring is going to be much larger. And Jake says, well, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Got a goddamn pay-per-view snake. Yeah. yeah. Cross body. <laughs> cross body. Well, on. after six boring minutes, Marlena is here ringside. Sans gold dust. Without gold dust, with the cigar and a little glass of wine. She's Dude, Marlena that. out here in the bar. I mean, this is pretty cool if you're just hanging out in the bar. Marlena out here just smoking penises, fucking got <laughs> drinks on deck, man. Smoking indoors around everybody, cigar yeah, style. Pack tight. Yeah. Crazy, man. Well, it's cool, though. Yeah, like you said, anything can happen on Shotgun <laughs> Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> it's a yeah, get us horse. that fucking <laughs> building, man. So, of yeah. course, uh, Marlena comes out here, uh, arm drag, <laughs> <laughs> drop kick, <laughs> cross body, uh, and then Hunter Hurst Helmsley goes to the outside. He tries to riz Marlena. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. He rizzed her up, beast style. Marlena said, damn, you're cooking. <laughs> Riz uh, Hunter Riz Hemsley here. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a ruse, uh, apparently, because yes. gold dust is here. Didn't really, not that great of an idea. Marlena, you go out there and distract Hunter. I'm going to run up from behind you through the sea of people. So he can and, see me. So he can <laughs> see me and run away, which he does. Hunter runs away, and there's like fans grabbing him to stop him from getting away. <laughs> I got to be real with looking. you. I think the Riz worked. I, yeah. I think he rizzed her up crazy. I, I think don't think so. it was a ruse. The only reason I even knew it was a fucking ruse is because the guy that fucking booked it is sitting there saying, it's a ruse. Oh, so you're saying she went out there on her own to just... Yeah, I, I think... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah, Marlena, okay. yo. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, so uh, Goldust chased Hunter away. Uh, ding, ding, ding. The match the rock, is over. The, it was a count the rock out? wouldn't be a count out. Yeah, that's how I was playing it. Okay. They I don't do, explain okay. it, though. I don't think they explain it at all. But yeah. It, Rocky was in the ring and count out, and then Goldust chases after Hunter, and that okay. was so. I mean, it was uh, in all regards pregnant? much better than the other match. No, go, well, he could be. I didn't see. We you know we find out later if he's pregnant. Does he? Do they actually comment on they this? They do. They do in the they main do. Event. Yeah. Okay, I don't they remember. Do. Okay, I, yeah, they don't worry. Right. <laughs> Tr yeah. Trust me. I, yeah. Even if they didn't, I was going to go yeah. to the ends of the earth to find out why it didn't happen. Well, we go to a pre-tape here. Sid is cutting a promo. 
you're gonna miss out on the Macarena with Doc Hendricks oh and Tom Petty. Oh my, <laughs> that's like, I'm sorry, bro. I mean, I hey, mean, miss out Macarena. On that, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were doing the Macarena. It's a different bird. It's a like cowboy about. Macarena, which I've never heard. It's got. Oh yeah, that Texas it's, Macarena. It's, <laughs> it's got different yeah, yeah. lyrics or something. I don't know. Yeah, like, never heard of this. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you got to go to Texas. Oh, there's an bro. actual video on how to do the cowboy Macarena. Hey, there's a YouTube video Macarena. Okay. Uh, yeah, and Sid uh, Sid cuts a promo in an empty arena where it sounds like during the promo you can hear them trying to <laughs> try put the ring together. <laughs> yes. Dude, what the fuck did he say? He said Jose is going to summon all the Mexicans. <clears throat> he said, yeah, he's, I, I, I said, he said oh, over a hundred years. I'll, I wrote the whole fucking thing oh, down, brother. <laughs> over a hundred years ago, a great German philosopher said in the act of fighting monsters in the procedure. You got to make sure you don't become a monster yourself. But in the Alamo Dome, I will have to be the monster to take what's mine, to walk out the champion. And I think Shawn Michaels would say the same thing. At the right moment, I reach out, Shawn, and I have you by your throat. The look you will give to me will be obvious, for over here at ringside will be your mother. And she will know that look, too. I said, what? For the Riz look? What are you talking about? What look are you talking about, bro? He said, all the way over here will be Jose Lothario. And he will know that look, too. But by this time, he won't get on the apron because he knows better. And then you hear, do, 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 do. This board's <laughs> dropping in the background. <laughs> over here will be your friends from your hometown. But they will see that look, too. And Jose, you are going to summon... All the Mexicans so from say, Mexico. Jose is going to summon all the Mexicans? <laughs> all of them from Mexico. And they will be 70k strong. And at the highest seat in the roof, they will know that look too. And then that look says it all. It says, Sid, you are the man and the master and the ruler of the universe. Yes, yeah, 70,000 Mexicans. <laughs> Holy shit. Jose Lothario is going to summon to watch Shawn Michaels lose. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, Sid's just... Summon all the Navy SEALs. <laughs> this dude's saying nothing. But <laughs> <laughs> summon all the Navy SEALs. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I got that on deck. <laughs> to kick, kick his ass. <laughs> Sean, you will rue the day. <laughs> that is Jesse Ventura beating his ass in the bar. Dude, holy fuck. <laughs> Sean's at the bar trying to talk to Jesse's wife. And Jesse Dictator, Dick Marcinko, and the Master Chief. I'll stop him out. Chief. <laughs> He's just also a man in a suit of armor. And 70,000 Mexicans that Jose Lodario They've all them. been summoned. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, He's got that 70, power. 70,000. All right, that's cool. <laughs> Seventy thousand Mexicans have been summoned to watch HBK lose. <laughs> A great house. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> oh my god, that's. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a crazy call to arms. <laughs> Summon all of them. Oh, all right. Oh my god. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my god. You okay? Yeah. Sorry, I get the hiccups and yes. laughing. So I went. To, I went to look up the quote. What the actual quote was? Was like, what the hell is he talking about? So it's uh, beware that when okay. fighting monsters, you yourself do not become a monster. I like that. Actually, good quote for Sid. Uh, he just read the whole yeah, thing. For, for when you <laughs> for when you gaze long into the abyss, the abyss gazes into you. Which I guess Sid was trying to get. Um. Oh, he was going to be a bitch. And then this guy on Reddit says, yeah, what I think every day when dealing with my wife. <laughs> my bitch wife. Ah, <laughs> Yo, bitch wife. Yeah, tell that Shout motherfucker. Shout out to this guy yeah. on Reddit from eight years Susie. ago. Susie. Thank you. Yeah, bitch Susie. Hate yeah, that, that Susie. bitch wife. Oof. Well, Jose <laughs> yeah, is going to summon all the Mexicans. <laughs> yeah, and what HBK, the fuck? you will lose because of it, you <laughs> son of a bitch. They will watch you in your they eyes. They will gaze in your eyes, all 70,000 <laughs> Mexicans. <laughs> And you will be mesmerized. Through the day that you mess with the yeah. master of the ruler of the universe, you son of a bitch. Yeah. Yeah, he's fucking real quiet. And, and my bitch oh, wife. Someone, <laughs> my bitch wife. <laughs> you, that's awesome. Yeah, well, Sonny's dancing. Yeah. Da, 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 She's da, da, doing da, da, the line dance to Ah, Sonny. Ah, Sonny. Look at that, Sonny. So. 
Honky no. Tonk Man no. is moving on here. <laughs> That son of a bitch somehow is still here and then is also here in the 2001 Royal Rumble Please somehow. Get, dude, fuck. Holy shit. Honky Tonk Man is playing fucking cards with Hysteria and Mini Mankind. <laughs> that is his fucking That's wrestling not a lie. Lie. That's a real it's not sentence. A, it's not no. like Mankind. It's just like a Mini Mankind. That's him. Yep. All right. That's, no, yeah, it was the Mini, mini Division. Mankind. It was Mini Mankind. I think we saw Mini Vader on Shotgun before, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, Mini Mankind, Honky Tonk is gambling. He is the dealer here, and he says, I know you like the... I'll try to teach you a card game. I know you like the gamble. Uh, and he's just throwing cards down and then just stealing their money. He's cheating. Because they he, don't know how to play. So he's dealing from the top and... The, ah, he's he's dealing from the top and he the busted. bottom of the deck, which is no-no. He just dealt from the... He dealt from the you bottom of the do deck. That. That fucking See, I heard, I heard on the honkytonkman.com that he wasn't cheating, though. That's what I heard. Oh, I see. I heard he wasn't booked for the show either. <laughs> Dude, Honky Tonk Man was like progressively racist during this promo. The whole, yeah, he's, so I know like, you Mexicans don't know the American way, and I like you to teach it a card game. They were like, it was no, like, and they yeah, were, what they the were fuck? already playing the whole time. They obviously knew what was going on. Have but fun. He, they, he said, he went from like, can you even speak English to. Go back across the border in like yeah. a sixty second promo. Just like, trying to figure the out the worst shit he could say. Hysteria and Mini Mankind left the table to go do their match. He's talking to he's himself. Still, he is literally <laughs> talking to nobody, being progressively yeah. more racist. He's fucking. They're insane. like just so far towards the ring, and he goes, "Yeah, why don't you go across to the border?" What yeah, the like, fuck? Yeah, get out of our country. Honky, honky talk, man. Sucks. Was Mini Mankind supposed to be Mexican? I know he was, but like, was the character like just supposed to be a so no, like, <laughs> well, he spoke what? Spanish well, when he got in the ring. Well, they did yeah, the promo that also when he spoke drew me. Spanish. We'll talk yeah. about that, but I was just yeah. wondering. I guess so, maybe, but I, yeah, it's just mini mankind. Yeah, I agree. Um, we had Sid, fucking base Sid's gonna su have Jose summon all the Mexicans to beat HBK, and, and then you go up. And then Honky Tonk Man has to fucking Ruins ruin it. it. Yeah. They fucking ruin it to go to speaking English and going across yeah, the border. What is your problem? So they, they start playing mini mankind's music uh, to summon him to the ring, which of course is mankind's music, of course. Uh, and then it shows a Honky Tonk Man nameplate for some reason. It says, still thinks Elvis is alive. Yes. I don't even know why he had to get a nameplate. It was at the end of the segment. Fuck you, Honky Tonk Man. You yeah, idiot. you can. You're going yeah, to by the layer of Super Hell. Also, by the way, Mini Mankind came to the ring exactly like Mankind. It was perfect Mankind entrance, dude. It was unbelievable. I loved it. I said, holy shit, this guy is awesome. Yeah, what a great idea. Dude. We're going to have Mankind, but he's also Mini. Small. Yeah, and Mini That's Mankind awesome. and Hysteria go to the ring. Uh, Mini Mankind is awesome, I wrote here. Uh, and his nameplate said, Mini Mankind, how big is his Paul Bearer? Uh, you know, that's a good question. We'll yeah, where is Paul Bearer here? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vince says, we have two Minis and two Maxis. Get it? Cause Holy fuck. One's a, one's a big guy. Well, it's Mini Mankind, Hysteria versus Masquerita Sagrada no. and well, before, Venom. <laughs> that is awesome. But before you get to that, Bob Backlund's in the middle of traffic in New York. <laughs> screaming. <laughs> Just screaming at the top of his lungs, surrounded by taxis. Guys are walking by him saying, what the fuck? He's just, why is he in New York? The show is in Texas. Get this guy out of here. Yeah, I don't know. Anybody home? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? Yeah, crazy. Uh, and then there's more line dancing in a very pitch black room. Uh, <laughs> we're not not meant for us, I guess. And then it's time for the match. Mini Mankind and Hysteria against Masquerita Sagrada Jr. and Venom and the ladies. Todd Pettengill oh. says, Mini Mankind, Mini Mankind. Mankind. Mankind, excuse well, he, me. Why is he called? Like, that's so crazy to me that, like, this motherfucker's name is just Mini Mankind. Yeah, that was hey, Mini Mankind, Mini, Mini Mankind. <laughs> yeah. I know, but it's just, like, crazy to me. They got Todd Pettengill ringside with a microphone. <laughs> Mini Mankind, Mini Mankind. Like, what the fuck? He asks yeah. a bunch of questions. He answers in Spanish, and Todd Pettengill goes, you want a salad? Yeah, all right, cool. Yeah, he, said, right. what is your, he, he asks him, uh, he says, what's your strategy? And Mini Mankind replies in Spanish, and Todd says, okay, but what is your strategy? And Mankind replies, you know, ah, oh, one, two, three. And Todd says, oh, something about a salad. All right, you guys, Mini Mankind is way cooler than everything you guys are doing with him, boys. Let's fucking... What's the make, point of it? And he kicks ass What's in this match, too. Him like that? That was just dumb. It just made him look bad. Mini Mankind, Mini Mankind. <laughs> that was crazy, man. Like, just call him this guy. Dude, that would have been awesome. Wow. 
Um, but yeah, like this is like exactly the type of match you should book in like bar shows that last an hour with wrestling. You are this right. Is yeah, that is awesome. Right. I love this, man. I love this so did, much. I wrote down something. Oh yeah, here's what I said. I said, for whatever it's worth, the format of this show is not bad. Uh, you should start with a regular match to set the pace, lucha match to turn it up. Maybe you should go to a hardcore match and then you have a regular main event. Uh, yeah. Four match bar show would be a ton of fun to go to, like on a like a Friday or something. Oh my night. god, that would be cool as fuck. Like come off of work Friday night. Makes a ton yeah, of money right. from that. Yeah, 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 like Friday night bar show where like you come you go from work to the bar and then like yeah. you got a hardcore yeah. match and a lucha match and a fucking you know two regular matches. Main events got names in it. Like yeah, it's not a bad fucking format. No, that's fun as hell, man. We should uh, write that down. Yeah, they were cooking here too, man. Dude, this match is fun. I mean, uh, they're doing head scissors all over the place. Venom is diving to the fucking floor. Uh, head scissors, crazy shit. Uh, hysteria going over the top. Uh, then Venom baseball slides them into the cacti. And then springboard plancha. <laughs> they even called it on commentary. Awesome. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, my God. He goes into the cacti. Vince goes, right that cacti. You know what happens there. <laughs> <laughs> no, what the what hell? Happens, yeah, what, what happens, happens there? there? Someone's sunny, I'm sure. Uh, Masquerade Sagrada does a <laughs> diving crossbody to the floor, and then all of a sudden Vince says, "Oh well, Stone Cold is joining us," and I don't know why. I said, "Oh no!" Dude, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I I said, "What the fuck?" Hey, stupid, sexy Stone Cold, dude. Very <laughs> sexy, sexy Stone Cold, Cold with the lips. <laughs> and I said, "Let's get something straight. Where do you go, go, huh?" I say, "You go." And Jr. says, "Hugo," and Vince says, "Oh well, he, yeah, he has a throat problem." And Austin says, yeah, well, that's just as well, because if he didn't have a throat problem, he'd have one when I got through with him. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid sex is still cold strikes again. He's going to fuck you I'll in your mouth. Keep laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid sex is still cold. going to throat fuck you, go son yeah. of a bitch. <laughs> I'm going to fuck his throat. <laughs> that's Riz right there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he invented it. Uh, Austin says, all the sponsors have been cutting me off because all the three and four letter words have been used. And why do I use those words? It's because I don't want to be misunderstood or misinterpreted. Talking the way I do is pretty concise, and you can tell what I'm saying. Is that true, son? And Vince said, "Yeah, loud and clear." And I said, "Well, let's. What's in the ring here? These guys in the rumble? <laughs> 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 There's a fucking whole match going on, Steve. What the fuck? <laughs> what's wrong with you, man? All the while, Venom is doing like springboard Dude, runners, cooking in this yeah. fucking ring right now, man. Oh, what are they doing? Oh, you got a match in the ring here, son? <laughs> Fuck. Crazy dude. Austin says, I wish these guys were in the rumble because that's the most colorful garbage I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> uh, damn, man. These guys are kicking ass. Uh, Austin says, I brought a six pack of whoop ass to bring with me tonight and I'm going to serve it to Gold Dust. And Jared says, Is it cold? And Austin says, Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Just how Stone Cold, you know, you know, you're, you know, shut up. <laughs> then they split screen the match and Austin while he's talking yeah, shit. Yeah, he has his lips. <laughs> Look, dude, this guy is Steve Austin is fucking two months away from his whole career changing forever. Right, yeah, so. yeah. You're I right. mean that, and and like that's even absurd. Like just sitting here watching this guy, like he comes he's out not even here, the guy yet. Yeah, no, no one gives a fuck. He's like a guy. Yeah, like he's yeah. just a dude here. That's what I'm saying. Like you know, you look at the cars, like damn, there is names here, but they're not names yet. So it's just like guys yeah. at yeah, the time, yeah, yeah. and like. Steve Austin just being ringside and like this place isn't exploding into a million pieces like going You're nuts. Right. I was like, this is insane. Even like it's when insane. his glass would break, no one would care at this time. Like he just came out. That was no. it. Yeah. It was crazy. But you're right, James. It is like only a couple months from this, right? Mania, like yeah, yeah. March or April, yeah. yeah. You March or yeah, April Mania, that mania. Yeah, yeah. Well, Austin says there's gonna be thirty superstars. Or you say there's gonna be thirty superstars, but you're wrong, man. There's going to be 29 pieces of trash and one superstar, and that superstar is Stone Cold Steve Austin has the bottom line, Vince. Tell me I'm wrong. And he does not tell him he's wrong. <laughs> All the while, Mankind is bumping, like, on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Getting all fucked up. Sagrada kicks Mankind to the floor. Double spring, springboard plancha. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck that is going on? Garbage. <laughs> this dude, who, who's that guy? Austin, but Austin does say, these guys are going crazy. <laughs> is it cold? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Vince says, these, uh, these minis are still on your thunderstone cold and all it says there ain't no still my thunderstone and i'm begging you to give me a bigger chair because i'm a big strong guy and i need more room and i'm sexy <laughs> as hell oh hell yeah is it cold uh the hysteria goes to the top venom goes up quick frankensteiner off the top and almost kills himself on it yeah we're rocking. like he barely fucking completes a flip venom goes for the infrared off the top and misses 
and then Hysteria hits a sit-out powerbomb for the win. And even better, they play Mini Mankind's <laughs> winning of music. Course. That's <laughs> nice. the winning one with the piano. That's the so ha- crazy. The Happy Mankind music. I was like, that is fucking yeah. awesome, man. This match was fun as hell. Stone Cold's out of his fucking mind. Uh, he this does is the insane. power bomb and they um, say shades of Psycho Sid. And I said, no, not at all. But okay. <laughs> not really. It was a sit out yeah, one. Not, and not close. anything yeah, like yeah, that. Thank you, no way. Thank you, Vince. <laughs> Austin says, you know, I'm impressed. It looks like someone uh, left these guys out in the sun too long or put them in the dryer. Uh, they're great athletes, but if the bell rang and they saw Stone Cold across the <laughs> ring, where they'd be a where they'd, they'd be a mess in the ring, uh, probably in the backseat of their pants. And Vince says, all right, go on and, and say it. I know you want to say it. And Austin stops. He looks like he says, I'm going to whip somebody's ass tonight. <laughs> <laughs> what was this line? <laughs> That's yeah, his that line on his now? shirt. Also, 316 yeah. says, I'm going to whip somebody's ass tonight. <laughs> All right, fair enough. I'll take that. Fair enough. That's JR316 cool. says, Is it cold? Is it cold? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, now it's time for the Terry Funk Town Hall. <laughs> Holy shit. This is crazy. Yeah, Todd Pattengill introduces Terry Funk, and then says, my goodness, Terry Funk is here. And I says, someone tell me what the hell Terry Funk's doing here. <laughs> <laughs> he might be from Texas, but I'm Texas' own son. I own the state. <laughs> Terry Funk gets in the ring, <laughs> and Funk says, this is, this is my state. I was wrong. <laughs> this is incredible. Dude, yeah, that was so, that, the whole thing with Vince there was awesome. Vince yeah. says, uh, Steve, don't, don't you think that um, Texas is Terry Funk's town? No, Texas is my town. Terry Funk gets in the ring. Texas is my town. Wrong. <laughs> I'm the heart of Texas. Wrong. Terry says everybody out here knows I'm the windmill and pile driving, back breaking, neck breaking, bear hugging, wrist locking, knee dropping, toe holding, son of a son of a gun, meaner than a rattlesnake, tougher than shoe leather, and more dangerous than a hollow eyed score pine. And I'm ready to rumble. I said, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> What's going on now? Austin, I got a couple of knuckle sandwiches. I brought me Dude, out there doing What the fuck was that? <laughs> Steve Austin got a couple of knuckle sandwiches. That guy got knuckle. Yeah, no knuckle this sandwiches. Is this is like, do a number. This is like what Austin <laughs> like trying to be like when Austin tries to be funny doing the what stuff, but it was like completely serious here. So it's like. Uh, yeah, I got a couple notebook sandwiches for him if he's hungry. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. 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 Yeah, he's, he's being a ball licker, actually. <laughs> Terry says, I don't know why number I am in the rumble. The hell with number 15 foot lettuce. I want to <laughs> walk out there. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> I want to walk out to first, man. Uh, George Bush and the representatives of Texas designated me as the Texas member. I want to start the rumble and I want to end the rumble. Whoa. Austin says, I, don't Whoa. let your teeth fall out. <laughs> he does say, don't let your teeth fall out. What the heck? Yeah, don't let your teeth fall out. <laughs> So Terry Funk starts challenging people to a fight now because he wants to f- have a rumble now. He said, how about a how about a one-sided rumble with you, Pettengale? Is there someone else out there? And I was like, don't look too far. <laughs> Austin is on the commentary bike. He's, which is literally like beside the rear. Yeah. <laughs> it's like literally like a barricade away. Yeah. Terry says, <laughs> there is not a person in the WWF that wants to rumble with me. Not a person in WCW. Those bunch of snake sucking scumbags. <laughs> they don't have an athlete for me. Where's Vince McMahon? That... Yankee bastard! <laughs> I realize this is I realize this is life. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, Ben Gale, <laughs> give me the microphone. How about with you? Your mother is a whore. <laughs> <laughs> He does right. Say that. <laughs> no, he's right. That's right. No, yeah. that. Your mother's a whore. Oh, I said, shut up, you old bag of wind. Oh my God. Stop got, got a couple of knuckle sandwiches stop. before I do a number on you. It's not gonna get at you, it's your son. No, 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 no. Boo, boo. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. Is there anybody out? Where are you, Jim Ross, you oaky asshole? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> this is fucking pro wrestling, man. This is this is fucking pro wrestling. This is what exactly what this show needed was like someone like a guy this like this. Yeah, Terry yes. Funk is incredible. Yeah. I don't think he, he wasn't in the WWF at this time, was he? Was he like an agent or something, or was he like 
active. Uh, he no. was coming from the WCW. <laughs> Those sons of bitches, sunbags. Shut your whore mother. Sunbags. Your whore <laughs> mother sucking McMahon. cocks at the whore bar. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Then Terry sees all the boys at commentary. And he says, Stone Cold, Stone Cold, do you want to rumble? Do you have the guts to get in the ring? Vince says, oh, how about you call your jets, Mr. Austin? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't don't have a cow, Mr. Austin. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new what? Is this wrong? <laughs> yeah, wrong. You're right. That would have got super over. Why did he stick with that? He said wrong. <laughs> so Terry goes over to the commentary booth. And Austin says, "Here's a he's a senile old man. You ain't that stupid to jump the guardrail. He's already over the guardrail. Yeah, he's way <laughs> over the guardrail. <laughs> Terry says, this is live, right? He starts pushing the cameraman. Austin says, you ain't going to lay down for me, son. I'll knock your ass out. He could call my bluff, but I'm a little smarter than that. He thinks he's special. He's a complete idiot. And Jerry says, well, he's an icon. He's a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> And Austin gets up from commentary, and I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Let's fucking go. Austin, uh, Jim is like, oh, he must be going to the back. And he's not going to the back. He's going, Why what? the fuck would he I just go to the back? Yeah, yeah that's what crazy. The fuck? So he goes directly to the ring. He gets in the ring. He gets in Terry Funk's face, and Terry Funk slaps the shit out of him. <laughs> just fucking slap. <laughs> Where's your guts, Austin? Just keep slapping him around. And then Austin decks him, Terry bumps to the floor, referee's out to break it off. I was like, wow, this is fucking sweet. This it, is so cool. But this is just a build to the Rumble match. Like, this is like Terry and Austin, yeah, right. I don't think, have a no, match so, together, no. right? No, definitely not. not. I would have, this is what I wanted to see at this yeah, point. Yeah, me too. You know, you killed the gold dust, man. I don't fucking see that shit. <laughs> yeah, he's pregnant yeah. anyway. I don't want to <laughs> see that. <laughs> I don't want to see pregnant gold dust wrestling. Dude, it's insane that Austin was able to like walk through the crowd and stuff. If it's like, you know, six, seven, Dude. eight months later, oh my God. he's not making it through that crowd. He's that not building moving. is super fire coated. Yeah, yeah, big style. Yeah, that's nuts, man. I don't, yeah, I don't think Austin and Funk ever had a singles. Wow. Well, thanks for nothing, McMahon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking oaky <laughs> asshole. You Yankee. You whore mother. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> well, we got Doc Hendricks. He's got to buy that WAF ticket. Yeah, shilling the New York dates. Uh, he said an, he, he described this in a very interesting way. He probably did this before, but I don't know why I called it more this time. He said nine matches with 23 of your favorite superstars. I was like, oh, that's a pretty cool way to describe yeah, a show. Me. I don't mind that. Uh, but yeah, he said, well, you know, uh, you know, Sean doesn't like Brett. Brett doesn't like Sean, and Sid doesn't like either of them. Come out to Shotgun on January twenty fifth. We saw this it's the, the exact same one. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> uh, but of course, uh, sadly, we don't have one of the twenty three of your favorite superstars. We got Jesse James, Double J. Of course, uh, I've always been Double J. He's facing off against the god of this fucking shit, Farouk. He's a big deal at this point, man. Yeah. Oh my, dude, he looks like the boss of the company. Yeah. Like Jesse James, on the other hand, maybe not so much. No, he looks... Well, he comes... Uh, so Todd uh, tries to interview Farouk on the way to the ring. Farouk just shoves him. <laughs> uh, Farouk's nameplate says, Loves Vows, because two A's and two O's in his name. Uh, sure. Of course. Uh, Nation of Dominations in the ring. Jesse James comes out. He's trying to sing with my baby tonight because the angle is he actually sang that song and not Jeff Correct. Jarrett. That was yes, the he was the real Double J. Yeah, his name card said Jesse James... Ball liquor. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what that's you're right. Because <laughs> right. <laughs> Correct. Uh he's trying to sing the song, and the angle is he sings the song, but his mic is not working. This is like incredible <laughs> because the deal was Jeff Jarrett sang the song, but the mic didn't work and he was exposed, yes. but now Jeff, Jesse Jarrett now shoot doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. And then when it does work, Damn it's shit. only through the TV, it's not to the live crowd. I don't know if you caught is that. Is that yet, right? You, could not, you couldn't hear it. Usually it sounded uh, different. It was just like a TV mic. They probably didn't want to hear that. They didn't want to hear that. I mean, all those drunk te care. Texas people, they wanted to. They're trying to hear the Macarena, bro. Fuck that. <laughs> no, they wanted with my baby tonight. <laughs> well, this match sucked. Not from this son of a bitch, I'll tell you that. <laughs> uh, yeah, Farouk fucking dog walks his clown. So he tries to do some punches. Farouk spine bust, dominates the shit out of him. Dude, Jesse James style. did the shittiest arm drag and drop kick ever. Arm <laughs> drag. <laughs> they said that Farouk lacerated Ahmed jo uh, Johnson's kidney? Yeah, that's, that's right. why they're facing at the rumble. How do you lacerate somebody's kidney? You know, with a knife. 
Holy shit. <laughs> oh, is he as? Is that right? Holy fuck. I'm guessing. I don't know. Okay. That's all well, Farouk at one point. Yeah, you may be right. Farouk at one point hits Jesse James in the head and then says, Ah, oh, I hit him right in the proboscis. I said, All right, fuck you, Vince. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. Get out of our company. <laughs> and then, yes, as James said, Farouk. Fucking slams and jams him with a dominator. And I love that. Awesome. packed and smoked this yeah, dude. Yeah, that was bro. awesome. That was awesome. No one cool. does that move like Farouk, though. That He fucking slams him. Yeah, no. it was Farouk did not give a fuck. It was cool. No way. Fuck you, He kid. was over at the Thirsty Whores. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, now it's time for the <laughs> Starburst Fruit <laughs> Twist Rewind. Oh, my. Shawn Michaels won the yes, Rumble. Yes, Shawn Michaels cheated and won the Rumble. I hate this guy. Yeah, it was the, uh, the Bulldog. You know, what was it, 95 or... He, everyone thought he got eliminated, but it was one foot hit the floor, so he got back in eliminated Bulldog, uh, and then Boyhood Dream, of course. Well, if you guys are in the area, you can check out the Alamo. Oh, Michael Hickenbottom might be there. Yeah, he might be. He's probably sleeping. Well, Masquerade Sagrada is playing pool. <laughs> Holy shit, crazy style! Never seen a guy play pool like this Not before. Even, can't even hit the ball, by the way. <laughs> oh, he's, and also Hunter is Hunter is Hemsley hanging out with the ladies, and he's holding Sagrada's ladies <laughs> while he finishes his pool game. <laughs> He's keeping him warm for Zagrata. Yeah, <laughs> I would whoop this dude's ass eight balls. I just want to let you know that. Is bro. that right? Oh, it's yeah, Zagrata. Yeah, I'd, I'd smoke this clown. Not gonna I don't know. Zagrata might have you, bro. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm pretty nuts. Maybe on Gold the iPhone. Maybe iOS you could, but maybe iOS not. eight yeah. ball? iOS, yeah, he maybe. don't stand a chance. In real life, I don't know about that. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, that's I fair. Uh, I'd probably go hang out with the ladies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Goldust is, they may have Goldust make his, start making his entrance and then cuts the Sagrada playing pool. <laughs> I was like, oh, cool, okay. So now we have the main event of the evening, which uh, Goldust versus Steve Austin. Right, so uh, Austin, a lot of heat here, you know, well, doing the... Well, when, uh, when, uh, when Goldust comes out, it says, what does his daddy think on his nameplate? Ah, uh, because his dad is... Um, I don't know. Never heard of him. Uh, oh, okay. Stone Cold comes out and says badass on his nameplate, I think. Well, so they're working. Uh, Goldust has him in a rest hold, and Jarrah says, you know, I was watching a show last week, and uh, I guess the rumors of Goldust being with Child were somewhat off the mark. And Vince says, uh, yeah, a little far-fetched. Maybe an attempt at a little humor. And then that's the, that's the last they talk of it. They just lied? They just lied. <laughs> Well, they didn't I lie. You I see, couldn't you find see, like what like did they were they forced to not do it or no, like it, it was literally they just lied. I guaranteed. Okay, uh, and, but Vince didn't lie. It was Gold Dust lied. You know, it was a it, it was. But Gold they Dust. showed it on. It was an ad on the show that Vince ran down. It was Gold Dust attempt that humor is what they were saying. A little bit of humor. So there it was. Well, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, Gold Dust said he would give birth next week. I, I mean, I guess he could have. We just didn't see it. Me when I'm lying. <laughs> so, <laughs> we have Steve Austin versus Goldust here. Uh, fuck, I do not. I want to see Terry Funk. Get Terry Funk back in here. Well, now. don't worry. He's here. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. I'll even, dude, I'll even take Terry Brunk if you know what I'm saying. Oh, Ain't that right, yeah, fellas? Yeah, Get a little yeah, Terry Brunk yeah, in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love uh, well, Steve Austin low blows Goldust. Uh, for some reason, the ref is cool with it. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Whatever. He just like stands there and looks at him as he fucking kicks him in the dick. And the ref's like, I don't know, man. You know, I don't care either way. Uh, Marlena's ringside smoking a long boy crazy cool uh, commercial break next week Webster Hall we got the TNA girls or something oh, they're gonna be there okay that's cool and guess who's back who's that Terry Funk's yeah! in the ring <laughs> dude they're just in the middle of just doing shit Terry Funk just climbs into he doesn't like climb like slide in he gets up on the apron climbs into the ring and just starts beating the shit out of Austin <laughs> I, you know and you know what awesome. sucks is we never get anything from that. No, do we? And no, nothing. Like they, I, don't, I actually don't even know if they interact in the Rumble. I guess things change pretty quick for Austin, so it's not like they could visit it. I guess because sure, but fuck, man, come on. Like, I, I yeah, I, I mean, Austin probably turns full, you know, Austin pretty soon. So maybe they didn't have, they didn't want, you know, super over Stone Cold beaten up on Terry Funk. Yeah. Uh. Well, the Headbangers are now here, <laughs> and Rocky Maivia. God wins. And- <laughs> It's a Pier 6 brawl. Everybody's in the ring. Oh, it's a Royal Rumble. Austin, and Funk, do not, Austin and Funk do not understand what the Royal Rumble is because they're fighting in the crowd. <laughs> 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 Which was awesome. Hunter's beating Goldust with a pool cue on the floor. Austin dumps Funk into a beer tab. <laughs> that was fucking awesome, man. And uh, that's the WWF way that we're out of time. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that, was, that, that was it. Yeah, yeah. Like, 
Really, the only, the thing I walked away with here is what James said, is that, why the, fuck, I'm disappointed that we didn't get more Terry Funk and Austin. Big money match. They left money on the table, I swear. Yeah, man. Terry Funk and Austin They did and... okay, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, they turned. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that, that Austin guy turned out all right. Yeah, wrong. <laughs> but I think it hurt. <laughs> well, that's it, everybody. Thank you for joining us. That was uh, Shotgun Saturday Night, episode three from January eighteenth, nineteen ninety seven. That-